For those suffering from a chronic illness, treatment options are limited and often non-existent. Since 1920, we have expended over $2.7 trillion on cancer research as just one example, and yet treatments for cancer remain virtually unchanged. A central problem that prevents the medical community from understanding disease in general lies in the persistence of a flawed theory which attempts to understand disease at the level of the symptom and not causation. With this in mind, the Delta Institute has proposed a unified theory of disease causation. This unified theory consists of three foundational pillars. First, predisposing factors. Second, correlative variables. And finally, the mechanism of impairment related to a given condition. Predisposing factors pertain to a host of features that pave the way for disease to take hold, while not being causative in nature themselves. They weaken the body, compromise immunity, among other things. Examples include genetics, epigenetics, immunodeficiency, and environmental factors, just to name a few. Treating any of these problems will lead to some improvement. However, the actual cause is not addressed and the sickness remains. The second pillar is correlative variables. Correlative variables are in fact symptoms of the disease state, but many medical models have accepted them as causes instead. A simple comparison is dehydration. It is common in patients who are dehydrated to have chapped lips. However, chapped lips do not cause dehydration. They are simply a correlative variable. And until the patient begins to take in sufficient fluids, the dehydration will continue, no matter how much chapstick is applied. Some common correlative variables for chronic diseases include inflammation, apoptosis, cell-mediated toxicity, and oxidative stress, to name only a few. Many physicians and medical professionals spend the majority of their time dealing with these correlative variables, which will naturally lead to some improvement. However, true remediation will never be achieved for some conditions if the root cause is left unchecked. The final pillar in this theory of causation is founded in identifying the exact mechanism of impairment associated with the illness. This pillar is an essential prerequisite to the development of any meaningful treatment strategy. Delta's research has consistently demonstrated that impaired mitochondrial functioning lies at the root cause of many chronic pathologies. Dysfunctional mitochondria fail to provide vital cellular energy in the form of ATP, thus initiating a series of cellular events which affect virtually every system within the human body. The theory states that mitochondrial dysfunctions in energy metabolism are frequently initiated by elusive bacterial agents known as stealth pathogens. Because these organisms lack a cell wall, they are able to integrate with mitochondrial structures in a way that reduces electron transfer across the inner membrane of the mitochondria, resulting in decreased ATP output. This comprehensive approach provides a firm footing for Delta's unified theory of disease causation, offering a rational framework for ongoing development of the BX protocol, a protocol intended to restore mitochondrial health through eliminating the root cause of illness itself. True remediation and meaningful health restoration